from Vancouver, BC. If you guys haven't seen the rest of my Vancouver, BC vlogs, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below to a playlist. You can go and check that out. So today's actually Tuesday. I didn't film anything yesterday. My Aunt Flo came to town yesterday and she was a real bitch. I was so moody and melancholy and sad and just like all of the down things. It had also been raining for like four days straight, which because of the state that I was in was making me like super depressed instead of feeling like cozy and comfy. Like it has been every other single day it's been raining. I also tried out a Diva Cup for the first time and that was slightly horrific. Yeah, it just was not a great day. I literally laid on this couch for the entire day and uh, Will was so sweet and took care of me and uh, just let me be my sad moody self, which is pretty much what I needed. <laughs> this morning, Will wanted to go back to the Only Cafe. It was our third time there. He wanted to go and shoot some footage for his Envato store there. We went and we did that. I put up the review for my Drunk Elephant cleanser and moisturizer on my Instagram stories, so go check that out. I'll leave a highlight on my makeup Instagram. It's at Jess Hanky Makeup. Uh, there's a link for it in the description box down below as well. So I just had lunch and Will stepped out for a minute. I have a bunch of sort of like admin stuff that I need to do today. Charlotte Tilbury switched their, I don't know, like payroll situation. So I need to go and get myself set up on that. And what else? I uh, wanna post my Too Faced Born This Way concealer review tomorrow, but I haven't filmed the main talking part for it yet. So I wanna kinda of plan that out and then hopefully I can film that tomorrow morning and get it edited and uploaded by tomorrow night. It might go up on Thursday instead of Wednesday, I'm not too sure, but it will be up by the time this video is up. So if you wanna see a review of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I'll leave a link for it up here, you can check it out. And uh, yeah, that's been Tuesday so far. Happy Wednesday. Just getting set up to film a, ooh, to film a section for my Too Faced Born This Way video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that big camera yet or not. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. Anyways, I'm not having the best day. Feeling pretty anxious actually, like really anxious. I 
don't know if that has to do with my hormones or what, but I think more so it's like external influences that are making me feel anxious. Like we're I've been dealing with this plumber so we have this issue in our kitchen That's like a really seems like a really simple fix and we had someone in to fix it, but he said we needed To turn off the water in the building. It's like this whole thing. So I've been dealing with this plumber Who is like super unorganized? I've had to tell him like four times why he's coming here where he's going who I am Like he seems like he has no idea what's going on and I just like don't like dealing with stuff like this in general Plus like I keep trying to like I tried to correspond with him by email and he wanted to talk on the phone So he called me and like everything that I said in the email I then just repeated over the phone and then I sent him a text message this morning because he asked me to text him today and I told him the whole story again because I had a feeling he still was had no idea what was going on and then he called me again and had me tell him the whole story again like it's just frustrating to me like I don't understand why people want to talk on the phone when we can just correspond by email and then you have all the information you need in the email why do we have to talk on the phone you know it just like annoys me and he's just like super unorganized and I feel like that's making me feel anxious and then the other thing is that I haven't worked out in four days because I was like super sore from like doing really intense workouts and my hamstrings were really killing me. I was talking about it that in my vlog last week. And then yeah, like just had my period the last two days. So I haven't worked out in four days and I feel like that's also contributing to my anxiety. So hopefully like once I get this guy out of here, he's like not coming until five o'clock tonight now. He said he was gonna come this afternoon. He called me and said he's gonna come around five. Hopefully once he leaves and I like do a workout and stuff, like I'll feel better. I'm gonna like take some steps to try and like bring down my anxiety and the first thing is going to be exercise because that always helps me a lot so yeah i'm gonna film this concealer review and i have to take some pictures for will he's been working on his app recently um they're just doing a little bit of a redesign for selfie a day he just like uses me in the background of his photos or for like screenshots and stuff for in the app store so uh we're gonna take some pictures for that today and uh yeah just try to like get a few things done and hopefully i will start feeling better okay so it's been a couple of hours i did all the work that i said i was gonna do and i still feel completely miserable <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with me so when i feel like this i know that the thing that's gonna help me is to exercise and when i feel like this exercising is like the last thing that i want to do but I would rather go and do it than continue to feel this way. So I'm going to take off all this makeup, get changed, and then I'm going to go do one of my workouts from my Sarah's Day ebook. I'll bring you guys along. It's freezing out here. Burr. first exercise hit my hamstring so hard it's like they're still really sore I don't know what I did to them but they feel super tight and the second one is supposed to be a wall sit but I don't have a wall so I just subbed in those glute kickbacks because I feel like it's a similar exercise all right let's go bear crawl in it. I've never done a bear crawl before. And so I was looking at what it was and I was like, it's not going to do anything. And then I did it and it's so hard. And I feel like I probably look crazy and like ridiculous, but uh, yeah, it's really hard. Also, my pants do not like crawling on the ground. 
this game is gonna be killing Oh, that he cannot approach me He's a little like class and he's a little like trash can Yeah, but no, that mean I'm so No, I don't want your number, no I don't wanna give you mine, and no I don't wanna meet you, no, and no Don't want none of your time I don't want no scrub Scrub is a good time, I got no life My phone just died <laughs> So I can't time out my last two rounds, but if I don't do my whole workout, I'm gonna feel shitty about that and I'm trying to feel better. So I'm gonna just do my last two rounds and guess my timing and just finish. Wish me luck. Just woke up obviously I just wanted to quickly wrap up yesterday before we move on with the rest of the week after my workout yesterday I still wasn't feeling great I had briefly mentioned that we had a plumber coming over for a number of different reasons that was causing me anxiety but I figured the biggest one was that I didn't feel like we needed to have the plumber come over and I felt like it was just wasting his time and like a waste of money and a waste of our time to have him come so I just canceled the plumber and once I did that as the evening progressed I slowly started feeling like better and better so I'm sure the endorphins from my workout were like starting to do their thing and I just kind of tackled the things that I knew were causing me the anxiety so that I could just be done with it. Mental health is so delicate. You know if you struggle with it that it can be like very overpowering and it can really take over your life. And I've kind of developed strategies to help myself in those kinds of situations. And it's just to really face the things that are causing me anxiety head on. And so in this instance, that was getting my workout in and dealing with that plumber situation. And this morning I woke up and I feel so much better. I feel like a literal weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I had all this pressure in my head, like my head feels depressurized. It's kind of a crazy feeling like the whole day yesterday I kind of felt like the pressure was just like slowly draining out of my head and out of my face and out of my neck and just like out of my body and it happened kind of gradually and I'm really lucky that I have Will he's super supportive and when I'm a bitch to him he is nice to me <laughs> and uh, He's really there for me when I'm having a hard time. So he was just being very encouraging and letting me rant and rave and like letting me be anxious and just like saying all the right things. But having that alone wouldn't be enough because you guys know like if you're feeling ugly and someone tells you you're beautiful that doesn't suddenly make you feel beautiful. You're still gonna feel ugly. You need to tackle the things that are causing you to have those thoughts before you can rid yourself of them. It's just nice to have the support there too. So anyways. The most amazing Macintosh apples are ripe right now. I pretty much only like Macintosh apples or green apples, but like Macintosh apples are my life. And I guess it's that season, which is amazing. So they have these huge, delicious, sweet, and sour apples. They're so yummy. So I'm gonna have one of these, probably some peanut butter toast, and then Will and I are gonna head to the gym. And I'm going to start having a better week. I hope the beginning of this vlog wasn't too much of a downer. I don't think it was. 
it's just real life and everybody goes through ups and downs and I think it's just important to accept that and to just work on feeling better so I'm gonna do that today because I feel so much better and we're gonna really take in these last couple days here um because I'm gonna miss it when we're gone morning did I I can't remember anyways we had a really good day we went to the gym we figured since we got to go in for free last time that we might as well go again and just like use the money that we were gonna spend last time and work out at the gym again we went back to the same one the Robert Lee YMCA downtown I did an upper body workout so like shoulders buys and tries um, and then I did some stretching because my legs are just like still so tight and then we came home I showered, had lunch, you guys saw, and then I've just been like working. It's Thursday today and I haven't edited, I hadn't edited any of the vlog for this week yet. And usually I'm like editing the day after I'm filming or the day that I'm filming. So I felt like I needed to like get caught up on a bunch of editing. So I just did a bunch of that. And I just got ready so my makeup. Wills has a friend here in Vancouver and he works at a restaurant called Nightingale. And so he was off tonight and he suggested we go have dinner at his restaurant. So we're gonna go to this restaurant called Nightingale and have dinner. And so yeah, I'm just like getting ready, drinking a glass of wine. We're getting ready to leave the house and uh, hopefully we have a good night. I will see you guys in a little bit. 
Okay, so first we're actually going to this place called The Magnet for drinks. It's apparently like a beer hall, not my thing, but we'll see. chilly we had such a good time at dinner last night like so much fun and the food was so delicious that restaurant has a ton of vegan options on their menu but it's not designated and they don't like advertise it at all so if you're looking for like a really really nice restaurant that has options for everyone go and check it out because they don't do any substitutions on their menu like they won't substitute anything for anyone so they have options for everybody, like gluten-free, nut-free, like everything to accommodate people because they don't make the substitutions. Everything was really delicious. We had such good service and a really fun night. That was incredible. We're both a little bit hungover this morning. We have a breakfast restaurant in our neighborhood called the Zen Cafe. It's kind of like a traditional egg bunny hash browns kind of place. We've been meaning to go, so we thought the morning where we have a little bit of a hangover is definitely the time to go. All right, there's too many bikes, we gotta go. That was exactly what I needed. <laughs>
morning, happy Saturday. It's a beautiful day, it's like super, super sunny outside. I've just been spending the morning doing some cleaning. It feels so nice having a clean house. Will and I are about to go do a workout. So it's from my Sarah's Day ebook. It's actually really fun. So we're gonna take a deck of cards and every time you pull a card, you do that exercise. So like if you pull a three of clubs, you do three burpees. If you pull a ton of hearts, you do 10 push-ups, and you just go through the whole deck until you're done. And that's gonna be my workout for the day and Will's gonna do it with me because it's a fun one. After that, I have dinner with a friend tonight. So I do have a friend who lives in Vancouver that I haven't had a chance to see since I've been out here yet. So I'm gonna go have dinner with him. We're going to this vegan restaurant called Meat. I've been wanting to go since we got here and uh, it was like one of the places I was looking at going with my mom when she was here. So I've been waiting for a month to go and the time finally came and so I'm going there tonight. Will's meeting another friend that he knows from when he went to school here. So we're gonna split up. It's gonna be like the first time we've been apart for like this long since we've come out here. When we do these trips, we're together like 24 hours a day. It's like my dream come true. <laughs> yeah, so that's my little update for right now. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. Hey, I'm just checking in. I just wanted to say hi. I'm about to leave for dinner. I just finished getting ready. I just did like super light natural makeup. I'm honestly like dreading and hating doing my makeup out here. I just do not like not having my desk. Like I don't like not being able to sit down and do my makeup. I've like rushed to get it done as quickly as possible. So this is what we ended up with. <laughs> yeah, so that's one thing I'm excited to go home to is my, makeup, is my makeup desk. And I remember that being the case when I was in Thailand as well. So I have to remember to appreciate that more when I'm at home. Um, but yeah, Will already left. I'm about to head out in about 15 minutes for dinner. I'm trying to be excited. It's one of those things where you make a plan and then you kind of like regret making the plan, but you know as soon as you get there, they're gonna have a great time and everything's gonna be all good. That's what's happening to me right now, just because I'm like, I've been in such a homebody for the last month that like the thought of like going out and having to make conversation with someone is making me feel stressed. <laughs> So yeah, but I know it's gonna be all good. I'm gonna have a great time. All right guys, that's gonna be it for my Vancouver vlogs. I've had such an amazing trip. I feel like we picked the perfect time of year to come because when we first got here, we were having like beautiful warm summer beach weather and now it's slowly starting to transition into fall. We have these really nice sunny but cool days and the leaves are all starting to change color and everything is just so beautiful. Vancouver is just such a beautiful city overall. 
I feel like there really is no place like it, especially in Canada. It's really exceptional. If you've never been out here and you've been thinking about coming, you definitely, definitely should bite the bullet and, and come. It's really great. We are leaving in two days to go to St. Martin. We're gonna go meet up with our friends down there for my friend's 30th birthday. I'm so excited to see my friends. It's just been me and Will for like five weeks now and that's amazing, I love it, but it's gonna be really exciting to spend some time with some other people too, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Vancouver videos. Please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up so that more people can see it too. Subscribe down below if you wanna see what we get up to when we're in the Caribbean, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.